All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Today we're going to take a quick look at flex plates for your LS swap. Um, and the reason that I do these, I'm just trying to make this quick, but I'm in a ramble, so deal with it. But uh, the reason I make some of these quick videos is because I get tired, simply get tired of typing the same thing again and again and again. Uh, this flex plate on the right is a 4L80 flex plate. This flex plate on the left is a 4L60 flex plate. That's it, the end. Uh, people ask what flex plate do I need to put a 4L80 behind my 4.8 or what uh, behind my 5.3 or whatever. The simple answer is you match the flex plate to the transmission, ignore the engine, you could get any engine with any transmission. You can get a 4.8 with a 4L80. You can get a 6L with a 4L60. They could land anyway. Um, next, to address the one out of a thousand people who have a 99 to 2000 long crank engine, it'll be 230 out of the 240 comments. Uh, you just don't have that, that spacer right there, and that's it. So... If you want to, you if you notice this one's noticeably dished. This one's flat, right? If you want to use a 4L80, use this one. If you want to use a 4L60, use this one. If you want to use an older transmission with either one, you can use this flex plate as is. You don't have to do anything, or you can knock that spacer out. Okay and put it in front of this, take this out, put it in front, and that would center your converter. Or you can buy the little thing from fastest truck around. Four hundred thousandths, more or less. And the reason for that is that that's how much they cut off the, the long crank engines. Um, so then later on when they said let's make all the cranks the same flange they added this spacer it's 400 thousandths and then that centers up the converter so you can knock this out if you had both like i do you can knock this out put it in front of there and put that in front of a turbo 400 or turbo 350 or you could just put this one in front of a turbo 400 or turbo 350 exactly as it is or you could use this with the little stepped adapter. I'll insert a picture of that. So, are we clear here? 4L80 flex plate, 4L60 flex plate. Either one can go to an old school transmission. This one needs a spacer in front of it. This one needs nothing. If you have a long crank engine, you're in luck. All you need is bolts to use a turbo 350 or turbo 400. So, hopefully that helps get you on your way. Um, I'll actually knock this out real quick just to show you that it comes out. All right, this is the spacer people talk about. It goes behind this in a 4L80. It goes in front of this with a turbo 350 or a turbo 400 or power glide, whatever you have if you have a dish flex plate. Get it? Got it? Good. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.